Now, treatments for patients have gotten better, but we won't have a cure until the race for the vaccine crosses the finish line. Last week, Pfizer showed vaccine promise. This week, it's Moderna who announced today its shot appears to be 94.5% effective, very similar to the effectiveness of Pfizer's vaccine. Now, those statistics could change, but this puts two companies on track now to get permission for emergency use in the U.S. within weeks. Moderna says once it gets permission, it could produce 20 million doses in the U.S. by the end of 2020. You're curious about these vaccines, and so are we. So let's spend the next few minutes taking a closer look at them, shall we? So what's similar and what's different about these two? Well, Nightside's Angelina Salcido shows you how these vaccines work and why one may be easier to handle than the other. Within weeks, both Pfizer and Moderna have risen to the top in the race for a COVID-19 vaccine. It's really exciting to have two candidates out there. Infectious disease expert Dr. Jill Roberts says both vaccines are banking on new technology to fight the virus. They're both mRNA, so this is looking at the nucleic acid level, the real way that these viruses will replicate. And so it's exploiting a system that's really new. The vaccines target the spike protein COVID-19 uses to attack cells. Once the cells are stimulated, non-toxic versions of the spike protein are produced, triggering an immune response. Dr. Kami Kim with Tampa General Hospital says the vaccines are more protective than scientists anticipated. We were hoping that a vaccine would be 50% efficacious, it looking like in the preliminary data, it's more like 90%. Um, that's absolutely great news. In Pfizer's clinical trial, 94 of almost 44,000 trial participants got sick with COVID, making the two-dose vaccine 90% effective. For Moderna, 95 of 30,000 got the virus. All but five were given a placebo, meaning the protection from COVID-19 is 94.5%. While both are two-dose vaccines, the difference will be how they're stored. Data shows Moderna's vaccine will stay stable for up to 30 days as long as it's stored in 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the temperature of your average freezer or a medical refrigerator. Pfizer's vaccine, on the other hand, will need a temperature of negative 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, no current vaccine uses this messenger RNA technology that both Pfizer and Moderna are working with. If they get approval from the FDA, they'll be the first vaccines of their kind after years of research.